what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another call of duty vanguard video as always my name is g and today we are here testing out the fully maxed out kg and 40 the last assault rifle in my list and one of the most powerful assault rifles in the game here's my class setup for the kg and 40 again i'm not going to go through each attachments and simply show you the gameplay of this gun just shredding people left and right I know the KG M40 was one of the new guns presented to us once season 2 dropped and to be honest I never really uh, gave it a go. I think during that time period I was focusing more on leveling up my SMG so I think that's why I never actually used it till just recently. So whether this gun got a nerf or not I unfortunately never got to use it when it was in its most broken state. The KG M40 does a garbage ass 22 damage per bullet at base state but once you do unlock the .30-0650 round mag it brings its damage up to an amazing 42 damage per bullet. It. I think that's one of the strongest guns in the rifles class altogether. The gun is good, but there's just something about it that makes it feel kind of weird. And the fact that it feels and looks like an LMG and it is pretty heavy doesn't really help its situation any. My ADS sits at a 368 milliseconds, which doesn't seem like a long time since that doesn't even equal a second. But when you compare it to one of my other class setups, such as the uh, PPSH class I do have, my ADS sits at 242 milliseconds. And that is a huge difference in a game where timing is extremely important. The KG M40 is just one of those guns that I feel works well for those who prefer to play more tactically and not aggressively. The firepower is insane in this gun and if you swap out a few attachments to favor your recoil control this gun can definitely be extremely annoying in game modes where you're just sitting uh, back protecting an objective such as domination or hardpoint. Unfortunately because I'm more of an aggressive player this gun just isn't my cup of tea. The extreme slow sprint to fire speed along with the extreme slow ADS just makes this gun feel way too slow and heavy for my liking. On top of that, I always find myself getting completely shit on by someone who's using another gun that isn't the KG M40 themselves. A pretty disappointing way to end my AR weapons leveling grind. But with me finally having them all maxed out, I, you know, I'm actually thinking about making a ranking list where I'll rank all ARs in Call of Duty Vanguard from worst to best. So if you're not subscribed to the channel just yet, we can definitely get that fixed real quick. Go ahead and just click the subscribe button right now and uh, I will definitely be uploading that video shortly. But with that being said, my friends, I would like to end this video by giving my final verdict on this gun. So here it is. The KG N40 is a very powerful assault rifle but with way too many variables working against it. The gun can definitely be an effective gun to guard OBJ points but will not help any close combat battles, especially when you're going up against someone using an SMG or any other assault rifle that has a faster ADS. I wouldn't say the gun is the worst gun in the game but it, in my honest opinion it's one of the lowest ranking guns from my choice which is really unfortunate. With that being said I just want to say thank you all for watching to the very end of the video and again stay tuned for the ranking list being uploaded to the channel soon so be on the lookout for that video in the next couple of days. Gracias for your time and I'll see you all in the next one. Alright peace out.